I had the biggest game of my college career yet coming up with my team this week. We had started the season 4-0 and won our first Big Ten Conference game last week, but we're now taking on number two Ohio State in our next game. I knew it was going to be a tough battle for us, so I worked extra hard in practice this week, and as a result, was able to upgrade my throwing power and accuracy to boost me to a 96 overall. This game would have been tough for us even at home, but to make things even harder for us, it was going to be on the road, so we had to come out and make a statement on our opening drive against the Buckeyes tonight. We would make Make our way down the field and would strike first as I would find my tight end James Brown on this tightrope of a throw for a touchdown and to my surprise our defense was able to get a stop against the Buckeyes on their first possession of the game tonight. This meant we had a chance to go up by two possessions over them early on and that is exactly what we would do and we were in full control of this game after our defense got another stop for us next drive. We found ourselves in Buckeye territory once again so I would go back to James Brown for his third touchdown tonight and even though the Buckeyes would finally score after that they still had no answer for tight end James Brown as he would take this reception across the middle of the field and break multiple tackles for another touchdown. Despite how well we played throughout the first half tonight in this game though, the Buckeyes were still keeping themselves in this one. And this might have been the most athletic play of the night for me as I would slip not one, but two sacks on my way to scramble and pick up nine yards for my team, and I would promptly follow it up with another touchdown pass to my tight end James Brown. As great as we are playing, something had to go wrong though, and it would be this play here as I would go down with an injury on the play. Play, but thankfully I would make it back in the fourth quarter to try and help maintain our lead against Ohio State tonight. This drive would fizzle out though as after taking a sack on the previous play I would not be able to get us to a manageable third down situation and Ohio State would take advantage of it as they had made it only a five point game now in the fourth quarter. They only had two more timeouts remaining though so we just needed to pick up one more first down after we would convert on this play as on third and ten we would set up the halfback screen but couldn't pick up the first down. Our defense would clutch up though and force a game ending turnover for us as we would complete the upset over number two Ohio State with our tight end James Brown rightfully deserving player of the game tonight. After my performance in that game I was able to upgrade my throw power and acceleration and was able to upgrade my throw accuracy as well. Not only had that win boosted my team into the top 25 rankings for the first time this season but I was now the front runner for the Heisman Trophy as a true freshman. So the footage of our next game against Northwestern got corrupted unfortunately but we managed to hold on for a close 48 to 41 victory and I threw for almost 450 yards in this win for my team. Not only was that win enough to help my team crack the top 10 rankings, but it kept me as the Heisman front runner headed into the next week where we would be taking on the 2-3 and three Illini, which should be an easier test for us. We would start out with the ball and I would go right to work finding Darren Brown across the middle of the field. A couple plays later on a play action call, I would scramble to the right a little bit and would find Darren Brown breaking open again who would then take it in for a touchdown. The Illini would respond with a field goal of their own before the end of the first quarter and then would get lucky on the this bad throw as it would be tipped and caught for an interception. That was not the way I wanted to start this game out for my team as we were now losing to Illinois, so I knew I had to make better decisions on this drive, such as this instance where I couldn't find any open receivers and would decide to run it myself. That decision would pay off as the very next play, I was able to find Tim Slaughter who would get us down inside the 10 yard line and on second and goal would connect with Darren Brown once again for a second touchdown of the day. Our defense would thankfully get a stop and we had a chance now to extend our lead before halftime. Even though we were not picking up big chunks at a time, we were still moving the ball down the field quickly, but I would almost kill all the momentum we had built on this play as I would frantically scramble around and almost take a sack, but thankfully turned it into another first down for us. That would allow me on the very next play to connect with James Brown for a 28-yard touchdown pass, and just like that, we were up by two possessions over the Illini to start the second half and wanted to keep that momentum going in the third quarter. This pass to James Brown on a first and 10 would get us down inside the 15-yard line of Illinois, and the next play, I would show off my increased speed and elusiveness as I would almost scramble for a touchdown here, but would get pushed out of bounds just short of the end zone, so Clint Riley would finish off the drive the very next play for us. Our defense had been doing a good job of holding the Illini scoreless so far in the second half today, and that would give us another chance to extend our lead over them this drive as I would take off scrambling again and would get us down inside the 10-yard line, which would set up a quick touchdown pass to James Brown once again, as it now looked like we were starting to run away with this game against the Illini in the fourth quarter today. Even though we were up by 22, we wanted to make this a statement game and increase that lead even more against our rivals, and we would be so close with this pass to James Brown, but he would be just a yard short of the end zone for us. So the very next play, I would find Tim Slaughter on a quick out route for our final touchdown, as we would kneel the clock out on our next possession, and our undefeated season was still alive after another great performance from me and Champagne today. Now we had a bye week after that conference victory over the Illini, but that didn't mean Coach was going to let us relax and take it easy this week. 
week. As after a tough week of training, I was able to max out my throwing accuracy and increase my elusiveness while running the ball. And these upgrades to my attributes might even help me set a new school record in this next matchup. It was the following week now, and we were getting ready for another Big Ten rivalry game as we were going on the road to take on the Iowa Hawkeyes, where hopefully I could set the new school single season record for touchdown passes. Iowa certainly wasn't known for their offense, but their defense had been pretty good so far this season. And early on in this game, I could definitely feel the pressure of their defense as I was on my toes a lot. Despite the pressure they were getting on me in the pocket, I was still finding ways to get our team down the field on our very first possession. And in what perhaps has been my most athletic play of my career so far, I would slip that sack and I would take this in and out of defenders into the end zone. And just like that, we had gone up 7-0 over Iowa early on. And of course, they didn't score on offense because their offense doesn't know what the end zone is. But fortunately for us, we do as we would find it again right here. And that touchdown pass to Tim Slaughter would put us up by 14, but somehow Iowa would respond. Don't ask me how, but their offense would find the end zone, so we had to answer back with a touchdown of our own this drive. And while the defense was still getting pressure on me, we were still moving the ball down the field. It didn't do their defense any favors that I was now one of the most athletic quarterbacks in the country. So despite the pressure they were getting on me, I would be able to escape the pocket and make throws like this all game long against them. That didn't mean that I wasn't going to take any sacks though, as I actually had the wind knocked out of me on that play, so that would take us out of a scoring opportunity. Iowa was still somehow in this game, and their defense was still getting pressure on me as I'd go down with another injury. But thankfully, once again, it was just the wind getting knocked out of me, so I'd be right back on this drive. Surprisingly, we only had a seven point lead, so we needed to try to extend that this drive. And once again, Iowa's defense was getting pressure on me, but I would scramble out of the pocket and show off my agility getting inside the five yard line, and Clint Riley would once again cap off the drive for us. Despite now being up 14 though, our offense was stalling out in the fourth quarter, but so was Iowa's because their offense was finally starting to perform like normal. That meant we had a chance to seal this game on this drive with a touchdown over them, as on second and seven, that play would come for us as I would find a wide open Darren Brown, and that touchdown would seal this game for us against the Hawkeyes, as our undefeated season was continuing, and despite this not being my greatest performance of the season, I was still leading the country in Heisman voting. My team was still undefeated headed into this next week, and we had what hopefully should be another easy win against 3-5 and five BYU. We came out of the gates in some brand new uniforms this week that Adidas had supplied for us, and I can't even lie, these jerseys look pretty good, and we were playing pretty good in them so far against the Cougars to start this game at home. We'd got down past midfield in only two plays, and James Brown was getting us down inside the 10 yard line on this one, as it would only take four plays for us on our first drive to find the end zone. That pass would also secure myself in the Wisconsin record books for single season passing touchdowns, but I wasn't done setting the record as we were going on a tear today. Steven Jean would put us up 14 to seven, and Clint Riley would make it back to a two possession game, but BYU was keeping up with us, and on this play, I would scramble but would go down with an injury. Our backup would finish out that drive and we would tack on a field goal, but now I needed to get us down into the end zone, as that is what I would do is I would return on the very next drive, and we were now up by 10, and that lead was counting with this touchdown pass. Johnny McRae would deliver the dagger here for the Cougars as he would hold on to this bobbled pass, and with the lead still at 10, all we would have to do is kneel the clock out, and our undefeated season was continuing, as not only were we in the lead of the conference, and I was in the lead of the Heisman watch still, but our team was in contention to play in the national championship headed down the final stretch of the season, as we'll find out if we can make it into the national championship next episode as we close out my freshman year.